Hi, and welcome to another episode of Raja Talking Life. Thank you for being here today. And as you know, the goal of my channel is to help you get through life and be successful as well as happy. And in order to do this, I talk a lot about energy, our own energy, how to clear energy, and how to work with the energy of the environment around us. In the past video, I talked about the energy of 2021, how to deal with it and what to expect out of it. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the energy of January of 2021. The month have already started. And if you have not noticed, you would have felt that there have been a lot of changes. We've witnessed around the world a lot of changes and a lot of challenges, like what happened recently in the States. So in order for us to deal with this energy, we need to understand how we can cope with it. So let us start by talking about January. I'm going to just read from my notes quickly here, have a glance here. So the, what we are going to notice, the first six months of the year, so we're talking up to June 2021, we are going to feel the heaviness of 2020. It's going to wear on us. It's going to wear us down. We are going to feel mentally exhausted. We are going to feel that... There is a lot of sadness that is going to come. There is some happy moments, but the energy, again, it's still not moving as we want it to be. And it's going to be bringing us a lot of challenges. And this is going to bring us to a place where we feel exhausted because a lot of change happening so quickly that we are not able to cope with. So that is one of the energies that we're going to be feeling uh, this year. As for January specifically, the energy is going to be moving at a snail pace, if I can say that. It's going to be very, very slow. It will not be moving quickly, which is good in a way, because it is going to allow us to take the time to deal with all these changes, to deal with the challenges and figure out solutions that will work for us. And we can never do that until we slow down, take a deep breath and think about the next step. January as well is a great month for self-care. The energy of the month, it's all about looking after ourselves. It's about nurturing ourselves. And in the process, of course, we're going to nurture people around us. So if we take the time to look after ourselves and be happy, then that energy is going to reflect and you are going to show it to all the people around you. And then everyone is going to be happy. So this month, take plenty of time to take care for yourself in order for you to handle the challenges that are coming your way. You can do it in so many ways. I know it's extremely cold in Canada and we may not be able, especially with the quarantine and all the lockdown that all Ontario is going through, we may not be able to go out. The gyms are closed and you may not even be able to go out for a walk in the park. So try to take that time to meditate, deep breathing, maybe take an Epsom salt bath, maybe do some painting, coloring, uh, reading a book, listening to music, dance, do whatever that makes you happy and taking the time for yourself to nurture you. So let me know, what is your favorite way to look after yourself? 
Is it by just relaxing and listening to chilling music, chill and listen to music? Is it by coloring or spending time with a friend, even if it's virtually because we cannot meet now in person? However, there are so many ways that you can look after yourself. So today, start doing that and I wish you all the best and be safe. And if you want to hear more about Feb and March and the rest of the year's energy, please subscribe, like and share and give this video a thumbs up and let us spread happy and positive energy around. Thank you for allowing me to be with you here and part of your life. Bye-bye.